This week we're going to take a look at how to solder on some fresh wires to a fresh speed control. We're going to use this XR8 SCT that is uh, untouched for the most part. I opened the box and made sure I knew what I was getting myself into, but that was about it. So fresh solder tabs. Um, we're going to use the included wires, probably use all the shrink wrap that's in here. Uh, comes with a spare fan, our best friend in the world, the instruction manual, and some sweet hobby wing decals that are pre-cut. you got to love that. Save all that for later. First thing that I like to do when I'm starting out with fresh wires is figure out how long my battery leads need to be. This speed control is going to go into my low CSCTE that runs pretty short speed control wires for the power. So these can be about half length. Um, I'm going to put the plug on first and then solder that onto the speed control itself. So we'll start out with the motor wires and on that rig they need to be full length and they're going to need to kind of stand up like this. So I'm going to solder them in there. If your rig has enough room to lay them down flat and it's not to get, you know, it's not going to get in the way, but you know, it's better to put them in flat like that, probably a lot easier solder, but you know, for the most part, my rig needs to have it like this, so I'm going to have to put them in there. Um, I'm going to do color-coded ABC, bring your own. So the first thing I like to do is tin the, the pads, just a little bit of solder on the uh, solder posts so that everything flows nice and easily. The thing that you want to remember is that you don't want a ton of solder between your wire and where the connection is. You want the wire to be down onto the actual surface itself. Uh, I like to go through and either trim this off, completely start fresh, or just add a little bit of solder to it so that it flows better. Most of the solder that comes on any sort of electronics that are shipped internationally are lead free, so it can be kind of a pain to work with. You need a good hot iron, but putting in some good old fashioned leaded solder like I got gets it flowing a bit. And this is a rosin core solder too, so there's a little bit of flux tile stuff that breaks it down a bit. Infest that lead free solder with some good old leaded solder that lets it flow. So it's good to know lead free solder is better for the earth, you know, when they recycle electronics and that sort of stuff. Um, so that's, that's why it's the international standard now and that's why most electronics come that way. It's actually a better connection. It's just a little bit harder to work with. You need higher temperature irons is the main thing. So ABC, blue, yellow, orange. Um, I'm going to go like this. Do a data solder as I go in on the iron to get everything flowing and I'm going to apply a little bit of pressure to the wire as I go down. Like so, make sure that the wire seats. I got not a ton of solder in there. It flows all the way around, makes a nice clean edge. Stays like that. So let's see if we can do that again. Fresh little dab on the iron just to get it to flow. Touch the, iron, the wire and the post at the same time. Get that down. So the trick to the whole thing is not a lot of solder, obviously. You get just a touch to get it flowing, a little bit of pressure. You can hear the solder kind of squeal a little bit. And there you go. And then I want to—I like to put shrink tubing over all of those for obvious reasons. Lots of carnage in a short course, crashing, whatnot. Your wires can get hit, so make sure we're going to come back and add a little bit of shrink wrap to that. Um, we're going to move on to the power wires next. I'm going to put the plug on, cut those to length, and we'll put that in. So, and we're ready. Back in business. And then this end, obviously, soldered onto the speed control. Uh, I'm going to do this the same way I did my other one. The speed control sits in the truck like this. Motor wires go to the back. Power wires are here. Battery plugs in right there. Fantastic. Noting polarity, and I'm going to insulate these guys with the included stuff. Again, just a little bit of solder on the tabs to make it all flow. Let's 
and then I like to, right before I do the wires, I just tin them one time real quickly, just to get the solder to flow again. These guys are gonna go sideways on top. Ooh, that's a bit much. I'm gonna cut that back because it doesn't need to be that big. Should be plenty to get down in the cup. Flows all the way around, all the way down in the cup. Just a little bit more on there, so it looks as pretty as the other one does. That is that. Shrink wrap goes down to keep those extra protected. There it is, ready for install. Insulated the wires, front back, solder plug, or power plug rather, is ready to go. And these can be soldered onto the motor. Um, we did do a little bit of a motor solder tab stuff last time, but that was with uh, the normal uh, V10 motor. So this time I have the brand new 3652. See that? 5100 kV. That's too fast. If you guys know me from RC, I have a saying that's too fast. And generally that makes everybody want it. So this is the too fast edition of the motor. It comes with power wires, comes with a 48 pitch. Uh, five mil bore pinion gear. So for a lot of the RTR rigs, uh, slashes and stuff like that, it's a little short guy five four, uh, four pole motor rather that can go in and give you a good time. And it comes with a pinion gear, so that's awesome. So I'm excited because this is a SCH speed control, which is the big burly guy for short course and the little tiny lightweight motor for short course as well. So I'm gonna try to run this in my four by four and see <laughs> what 5100 kV being way too fast is all about. I'm a little bit excited about that. But I just wanna show you real quickly how I do the, the motor wires on that too. So real easy, these guys are gonna go ABC and when it sits in the rig, it's gonna be kinda of just like this. If you guys have seen the, the low C rig, it needs all the motor wires. So with the short motor, it should be uh, just enough to get it in there. If not, I can always put longer wire. And here you see the solder shooting around like that. That soldering 101, that is solder that is too low of temperature for the iron that you're using. And since I'm working with leaded solder and lead free solder, I tend to run my iron a little bit too hot. So to make sure that doesn't cause me too many problems, I try to go through and brush that stuff out or at least keep an eye on what I'm doing. Um, one thing that helps is right before you go to solder, you uh, clean your tip in a, the wet sponge of your solder station, and that'll lower the temperature just a little bit and keep everything from splashing on too much. But you see all those little balls shooting around. All the solder experts that are out there are probably going crazy, and that's a bad thing. But I've been doing it this way, and generally speaking, it doesn't cause me too many problems. So, ABC. Blue, yellow, orange, bring your own, is the way I've always remembered it. Everything's freshly tinned, it should just flow like a molten river. That's what those solder balls we were talking about. And there you have it. You check the edges, make sure nothing looks like a cold solder joint. Solder flows top to bottom. Should be good to go. Uh, sensor harness after that. And this thing's ready for instance. Actually, I'm gonna do this once it's in the truck because then you can 
position all of these. One thing I like to try to do is when I do my sensor wires uh, in the rig itself to make sure that this wire doesn't move because what happens is that it wears these guys out real quick. So you try to secure that stuff. But that's the basics of a XR8 SCT and a 3652 wire up in preparation for install. That should go into my Losa truck just like that and be good to go. Thanks for watching. Fun day, we're out at Flat Rock on Mother's Day. Everybody who got their mother's duties out of the way is out here hanging out to do some rock crawling with us. Scale adventure. We set up a course. We're going to go run some trail. It's going to be an awesome day. Stop asking questions to drive your truck. Stupid Brian and Fern. On my go. In less than five, four, three, go. Oh, hard start. Oh. Oh. Swerving Mervin pays the price, loses the race like a chump.